Hey, hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab taking a look at Sorrel 2.6.0. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. The biggest update they did here was the ability to MIDI map the silent cue button. That's the thing everybody wants and now that's what everyone's gonna have. So let me show you quickly. We're gonna make this real fast. You click on the MIDI button up here. You see that MIDI button? And we got silent cue right there. Click on silent cue to assign it. We're gonna go over to the S11 because that's what we all are using, generally. This is what was missing. We didn't have a silent cue button on this and we had it on the Rev7. So now, what I'm thinking, what I did, is I decided to use my view button on either side for each deck. So just go shift, hit that back button, which is the view. And because I already did it, it's asked me to overwrite it. We're gonna overwrite it. And it's done. And then I go over to the other silent queue. On that side, I click it, right? I do my shift, my back button, and I say overwrite it. And it overwrites it. Because like I said, I've already added it in. And um, yeah, and you, as you can see, let me just take off that MIDI button real quick. And you can see that when I go shift and back over here, the mute comes on, do it on the other side, on and off. When I hit my cues, it releases. That's it. Short, sweet, and simple. Hope this helps you guys out. If you like what you're seeing, feel free to comment below. And if you have any other suggestions for other buttons that you would use on the S11, feel free to leave your comments as well. My other suggestion might be the shift and the bank buttons. If you don't play around with jumping through all your effects, that would be another alternative. Other than that, I'm not sure what else I would use. But like I said, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think and hope this helps. Talk to you all soon.